Welcome back to The Daily Dose. My name is Taylor Osborne, one of the pastors out at the Fabric campus. Have you ever wanted to redecorate a hotel room? You get there, you unpack, everything is settled, you get your suitcase in the corner, and then you pack back up, you head to Home Goods, you grab a couple pillows, maybe some stuff for the shelves, uh, stop by Home Depot, grab some wallpaper, some paint, stuff like that. I've never wanted to redecorate a hotel room, partly because it doesn't belong to me, but also partly because it's just temporary. I'm never looking across the hall to see if they have better square footage or if their room is oriented differently or if there's better artwork on those walls because it's just a couple days of my life. It's just a short trip away from home. It's all just temporary. And we've been in this series called The Ten Commandments, and today we're going to pick up the story in chapter 20 of Exodus. This is verse 17. It says this, You shall not covet your neighbor's house. You shall not covet your neighbor's wife, or his male or female servant, or his ox or his donkey, or anything that belongs to your neighbor. These commandments were intended to remind the Israelites then and us now about how to honor God with our life and how to honor each other. And to do so, we must become acutely aware of how temporary this life is. Because when we get fixated on the temporary, we lose sight of our direction. To covet, or said differently, to set your heart upon something other than the eternal is foolish. It's a waste of your time. It will grow in you discontentment and resentment toward each other. And as Christians, we need to be motivated by peace and our purpose rooted in Christ. And instead, we can get so caught up in all of these different ways that we could have something different or better or what they're doing or where they get to go. And we lose sight of our focus. Colossians says it like this in chapter 3, verses 1 through 4. It says, Since then you have been raised with Christ. Set your hearts on things above, where Christ is seated at the right hand of God. Set your mind on things above, not on earthly things. For you died, and your life is now hidden with Christ in God. When Christ, who is in your life, appears, then you also will appear with him in glory. Set your hearts and your minds on things above. Don't get caught up in the temporary because much like a magician doesn't need to muster any real sorcery as long as they can misdirect you. I've heard it said that the enemy doesn't need to destroy you as long as he can distract you. And boy, what a distraction looking over the fence can be. So instead, we set our attention and our intentions on the eternal, because by nature, we're insatiable. But by his blood, we have been fulfilled. This is just a short trip away from home. We are only here for a short while, and you can only set your heart and set your course in one direction. Are you choosing well? Or are you busy redecorating a hotel room? Have a great day, Daily Dosers.